Welcome to Yukanic. Back here at Yukanic, we have a 2020 C uh, Honda Civic. And on this Honda Civic, we are going to go over checking some uh, uh, sensors. Right now, we have an engine light on. Uh, the check engine light is on. And so we are going to check the, the code with the code reader to be able to narrow down what the sensor is. So we have the scanner, the Yukanic Yukan uh, 2 hooked up. And now we are going to go, this is the home screen, and go through diagnostic. I'm going to pick the Honda. Then smart VIN that communicates the VIN number so that it knows what it's looking at and the control modules. Now we are going to pick option two control modules so that we can just check the engine out because that's what we're worried about right now. Now we will scan the engine code and see what we come back with. Now, we'll read the codes, and this is an engine, it's an ID code of 171-2, and it's a permanent DTC, and it says the turbocharger boost sensor circuit, and we have some high voltage again, right? But the turbocharger boost sensor circuit, and then we will go find where that sensor and circuit is, and be able to replace that, and also make sure that there wasn't another issue. And then we will come back and clear the code. All right, this sensor that we're looking for um, happens to be on this inlet pipe that comes from front mount intercooler or goes to the front mount intercooler and runs back through here through your throttle body um, unit, which is right back there. And so this happens to be the one that is kicking off. Goes to the front mount intercooler, circles around, and then comes in from the turbo. So it's reading that we have an issue with that. And so, of course, we do a good visual to make sure that no critters have eat it, eaten the lines at all. And we don't see any issues with that. And so we can also make a good visual that all of these connections to the hose are hooked up. And if all of that is hooked up, we may just want to try to replace the sensor and see if that's what will fix it. Now, in this case, we do know it happens to be the sensor. Um, because we're going through examples of sensors to look in the try. But there can be a lot of different things. So first we will need to clip under there and pull the sensor connector. Just squeeze it and pull it apart. And then we have a size number eight millimeter bolt that we will need to get there. Just have to manipulate that big large electrical connector that goes to the ECU a little bit. We've removed the bolt. Now we'll be able to remove the sensor and just pull it out. And here is our, our sensor to be replaced. Um, components inside can go bad and however the, uh, the pressure reading we can get a bad reading. So there's always potential that things can go bad inside the sensors. So we have the uh, sensor. We'll go ahead and replace. Uh, put some uh, um, lubricant on the O-ring so that we'll go in and we uh, don't pinch it between the, um, the plastics there. Get it down in there. Now we're putting the uh, eight millimeter bolt in. So the bolt is tight. Now, make sure we uh, reconnect our electric connector here. So that it's been connected. Now we can go through the process to be able to clear the code out. Okay. So we're back here. We have the, the key on in the run position, but not started. And um, we're back up on the screen here. So we have located that sensor 171-2 and took a good look at it, replaced it if necessary. And now we are going to go ahead and erase that code. So it sent the code to the vehicle. Um, you'll hear the, the click noise through the ECU on this vehicle. And now it wants us to turn the ignition off. And now turn the ignition back on. And so it did the scan to make sure that that had been fixed and replaced. Had we uh, forgot to hook the wire back up or anything like that, it would have came back and said, uh, it's not fixed. 
And so then you would check again. So that is that uh, um, that sensor, which was the uh, turbocharger, um, one of the turbocharger sensors. And so that's how that would be replaced and or to look for where that sensor is. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.